Oh, welcome on the Aviation Cult YouTube channel, my name is JB and today we are flying with the brand new Lufthansa livery. I think everybody has already seen it and everybody has his own opinion. I personally love this plane and love the delivery. We are flying on the Zebomod 737 which looks beautifully in this new livery. It just came out today and I just downloaded it from the um, X-Plane forum. So if you want to fly on with the same livery on the Zebra mode, just grab it from the forum. It's completely free. So I've set it up the plane um, just a little bit right now. We can just hop in and program the FMC and then we should be ready to go. So let's hop in. So as you can see, it's already... Um, I already did the, the, um, the position initialization. And now we just have to uh, file our flight plan, so let's just uh, do it. We have a cruising altitude of flight level 350. And we have a cost index, of course, of 55, as always, here on the Aviation Cold YouTube channel. Now, we are going um, to do the departure from uh, yeah I, I haven't even said which um, which which desti uh, which which um, which is uh, or which airport is our destination we are flying from Zurich to 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 Heringsdorf which is in uh, Germany at the Baltic Sea so nobody should really know this airport but I just got a free wear scenery which looks beautiful <laughs> so we are going to do now the departure, then the arrival, then we're going to do the complete flight plan. I might have even forgot something, but before I forget, this is going to be it's going to be the first thing I'm going to do. It is the pressurization. So that's done. Now we can, um, yeah. We can basically do this now. Departure is um, runway 28, and we are going to do this um, sit right here. And our arrival into into um, Heringsdorf is this one here, and we're going to do the RLS approach. So, so that's done. Yeah. Perfect. So, we are going to uh, Degas. From Degas we are going to uh, Bemke. From Bemke we are going to Gapto. to Gapto. From Gapto we are going to uh, Goma. From Goma we are going to Gudop. And that's basically our last uh, waypoint on the way to Herringsdorf. Yeah, Gudop, that's correct. Perfect. I have to grab this right here, put it back in, and we can activate and execute the flight plan. So that's perfect. Now, we're just going to do the rest here. Our takeoff data, we will have flaps set to 10 during takeoff. And then we have the following V speeds. That's perfect. Okay, so back to the checklist. Um, yeah, so this is set up. So basically now we can um, we can um, just have another look, just make it a bit smaller here. Okay, 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 okay. That's great. Um, now we can start the APU up. So, we are starting with the fuel pump. 
APU point is on for the APU and now we can switch on the APU. One, two, three, four, five. Should go on. Nope, nothing is happening right here. Yeah, we need the gen switches on before we can start it up. Of course, in the, in the bleeds, and now we can start it up. Yes, perfectly. So we have start up on the APU. And one while the APU is coming on, we can just set up our altimeter, which is 1006. So, so it's set to 1006, we have to do it on the other side as well. And we can set our um, al cruising altitude. Which is, of course, flight level 350. Okay, everything's looking fine uh, so far. Uh, the APU is uh, running. And now we have to put this to APU gen. And now we can um, put off the ground power. Off now. Yes, yeah, off now. Um, yeah, then we have everything we need. Now we can start up the hydraulic and the fuel pumps. Nope, that's the wrong switch. Haven't been on this plane for such a long time. Just learning how to fly a new plane, basically, from me right now. So, that's it. Anti collision lights coming on. Packs are coming off. Flex packs off, trust is idle, and now we can plan our our pushback. Should go right here. By the way, I'm using the vanilla scenery for Zurich. I am ready, so I'm going to call you. Perfect. always a bit laggy when you call um, the pushback truck. Der bringt sich in Position. Perfect. So we're going to be pushed in this direction while we are looking at the beautiful livery. We're going to be pushed here, then we can take off at this runway here. So, that's fine. And don't expect much from airport Herringsdorf. It's basically a very, very small airport, but I really like it. And it is um, a free... Uh, yeah, it's it's a very good freeware scenery, actually. So... already put it to... Oh, we shouldn't put it to ground mode just yet. Just wait. Couple of seconds right here. Just let us know in the comments what you think of the new Lufthansa delivery. I pretty much like it. I think uh, Pedro doesn't like it too much. Pedro is the founder of Aviation Cult and also the guy who is bringing you all the best um, new st stuff here on the YouTube channel, so... Schlepper is verbunden, der Bypass pin is gesetzt. Bitte lösen Sie die Parkbremse. Parking brake is released. Wir beginnen mit dem Pushback. Die Triebwerke sind frei zum Anlassen. So, engine should go on right now. Yeah, it's coming on. Just hop in to the cockpit again. Can introduce fuel now into the engine.
So, looks like a positive start for engine number two. So it's back to ground, uh, to auto, so we can start now the second engine. Just wait a couple of seconds. Engine can can come on now. So both engines are running at this point. So we can switch it to Gen R1 right now and turn the APU off and also the APU bleed. Because both engines are running, we can put on now the PEX. Perfect. The uh, windows. Um, the probe switches going on and also the window heat because it's quite cold here in um, Switzerland. Der Pushvorgang ist abgeschlossen. Bitte setzen Sie die Parkbremse. A parking brake is set. Schlepper wird getrennt. Einen kleinen Moment bitte. So now we can set the flaps to 10 degrees should be done uh, now perfectly. Yep, that's completely fine. So, flaps um, are set. Auto brake is going to RTO to to re uh, reject it. Take off. Um, 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 um. What else do we need here right now? Yeah, we are basically now waiting uh, until the, the push tug is going to be um, detached here. Der Schlepper wurde Perfect. entfernt. Der Bypass bin ist gezogen. Freizeichen gibt's von der rechten Seite. Einen angenehmen Flug. Tschüss. Okay, so t taxi lights are going on as well as the runway turn off lights here. So taxi lights are on. Yes, yeah, so we can start now our taxi. have a quick look on the map. Are you just going to taxi right here? Then, yeah. Everything just fine. So, set up everything right now for the autopilot so we can turn it on after departure So everything should be set up here correctly. So, we are almost lined up here with the runway, now we are going, we are going in the right direction, uh, in the wrong direction of course, but uh, yeah, but once we are going to do the turn we can put up um, or put on our, <coughs> our landing lights, then we can just take off.
So, coming onto the runway right now. Can put on our landing lights and switch off our taxi lights. Approaching to eight. So lights are set. Um, we are basically now prepared for takeoff. On runway two eight. Toga. Tate. Gear is coming up. Auto throttle is on now. Can read 400. So flaps are up. A bit early actually, but it's okay. So autopilot is on now. Vertical speed mode is on a bit. Yeah. That's actually fine. Okay, so let's just hop. Yeah, it's a bit rainy here and a bit loud outside of the cockpit. So to turn down the volume a bit. Okay, so let's just take some care of things we have to do in the cockpit right now. Um, yeah. <coughs> that are on now, um, uh, um, up now, so everything looks perfectly fine actually. The weather is horrendous actually. Actually my autopilot just went off. Just re-engage it real quick, and my throttle just came off. Oh, I don't know why. Again, I hate this thing. Um, yeah. So we had actually a pretty, pretty decent takeoff, but now because we have some time actually right now, we can just put in our um, ILS data, or yeah, the frequency, the ILS frequency, which is. 111.3 It's active for right now And we have a course of 283 We just set up now So everything's fine for the ILS approach We can just um, put in to standard barrel right now Yeah both. Perfect. Still some pretty heavy um, heavy winds and uh, heavy rain shower up here so there's no point in enjoying the view and have a look on the, um, the beautiful livery here. But because we are now climbing through clouds it should, should be better now. Or well, once we have um, once we have Clear skies is going to be better. It looks like we are a bit off course. Oh, it's, it's just a bug. So, 10,000 feet. Uh, 10,000 feet, clear skies, taxi, uh, landing lights off, also runway turn off lights are off. By now. Perfect. So, now we can go outside of the cockpit and enjoy the brand new Lufthansa livery. If you want to find out more about the Lufthansa livery, it would be great if you would to check out the other YouTube related videos we have, because we have a whole video dedicated to the new Lufthansa livery tour, which is coming up on the 8th of February. Basically it's a Thursday, and 
the Boeing 747 and uh, Airbus A321 is going to tour around Germany and the, across Europe. They're going to, uh, yeah, it's going to be think, great fun for the spotters who are going to see the, the brand new livery for the first time. So back into the cockpit right now. We can speed up a little bit right now. During the flight, uh, during the flight, and it's going to be basically for our on our Instagram page. So if you clicked on this video because of our Instagram page, just leave a short comment. You will get a shout out. So would be great. Very curious how many you, uh, followers or subscribers we gained because of our quite big um, Instagram channel. Because we have like I think 16k uh, followers there, and I think we can gain a lot more YouTube followers. So if you want want to um, to help this YouTube channel grow, and if you want to help us on our journey. It would be very, very kind of you if you could just to share <coughs> the video. Would be would be great. So, if you want to, um, if you want to fly once with me, just hit me up in the comments below, or just text us on Instagram. Because I have planned to do some flights on FS Cloud. FS Cloud is basically um, um, a network where you can fly online, but it's not like Vetsim, so you don't need to communicate with other people while you're flying. It's just like to have traffic for three people there. And I think flying with with subscribers and followers would be a great addition addition to this YouTube channel or in general to our to our web presence of aviation cult. And please let me know what you think, guys, because I think it's just an incredible, incredible thing that we have such a big Instagram page. We have a website where I am posting regular content um, so if you like our website just you can follow follow our newspaper uh, newsletter which is going to update you on every single new um, article okay it's not that bad you will just get an email once in a while which is going to include <coughs> some some hot articles which we would like to promote so, time until arrival is right now, 1 hour and 11 minutes. And please, please let me know what you think about um, about the new startup procedure I did in this video. Because usually we um, are doing the whole startup with you guys. But today I just stopped, powered up the whole plane and we just did the FMC together. I think it's, going, it's better because the video isn't that, that long. We don't have to put on the battery 
every single time together. But if we are going to have a new plane in the fleet, we can do it together. So I hope you know what I mean. And I'm going to check just real quick my acres, which is basically showing me the flight time, the time until arrival and a chat where you can chat with other people which are flying also at the moment. Could try to put up some music right now just to have a bit more entertainment during the flight. I'm just going to try it real quick and uh, then we will see how it worked out during the um, during the editing of the video. So if you don't have any sound right now, that's probably the reason why. So we are on the NCS YouTube channel now. The tunes you are hearing right now is. Imagine by Tom Joseph. I don't know the track, so enjoy it. Now I am a pilot and a real time DJ. How cool is that? It's amazing. Yeah, I, I hope it's just not too loud. Turn down the volume just a little bit. So this should be fine for during the flight. A bit louder. Yeah, this should this, this be nice. So, let's just hop outside. Maybe I should consider doing a playlist when we're doing music a bit more often here during the flight. We are overspeeding a little bit. Just have to correct it down right here. 300 maybe, then we can lower our vertical speed right here. So, it's perfect. We have actually our top of climb here and we are missing 5000 feet actually. That's not a problem. And we are actually at a pr pretty high... Yeah, okay, it's like 20 feet maybe. Uh, feet, I um, mean... Uh, you know what I mean, not feet. It's 20, 20, 20, 20 miles. Yeah, no, I have it. Perfect. Just switch the song, now we're hearing Skylink with The Wizard. I should really do a dedicated playlist. Maybe like two hours long, so we have stuff for every new video. And um, we just received, or yesterday, I think it was yesterday, we uh, received a comment on our video. I uh, just want to talk real quick about this comment. Let's have to look it up real quick. I am basically not prepared at all. I just saw the, the Lufthansa uh, livery on the forums and I just downloaded it and thought, yeah, now I have to do the video. And we just reached 200 subscribers on YouTube. So, I for my part will, would like just to thank you all for your support and for your likes and comments on every single YouTube video. It is amazing and I'm very, very grateful that you do, um, do this kind of support right here. But now um, to the comment, Max Buller write it 13 hours ago, great video, you should do London City. Um, he commented down below the Europe hardest approaches in um, Innsbruck and London City is of course on our list and we are going to do a CRJ flight um, maybe from Paris or from Amsterdam to London City and that should be a lot of fun so I hope you are that hyped um, how I am hyped Oh yeah, that's grammar right now. 
but just <coughs> just be hyped and it's going to be an amazing video because the the approach into 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 London City is very very steep and this is what um, or why London City is such a hard approach in Europe. If you, have, you, if you have other suggestions, airports which are very hard in Europe, hit me up in the comments and I'm going to feature your comment when we are doing the video. And the scenery right here is stunning. We're just going to enjoy the view for a couple of minutes, I think. Please, please don't do very... Yeah, don't do very big turn but it's going to do yeah so let's just enjoy it while we have the time amazing views right here I, I really, really love the slivery and above the orbs. Just stunning. A lot of people are missing <coughs> the golden crane, actually. I actually think that the livery without the crane it looks much more modern and it looks just like in time. I hope you know what I just want to say right here. It just looks like... It's, it's amazing. Maybe a Lufthansa livery in the style of the Etihad livery and the potential new Air Berlin livery, which was planned to be revealed in 2018, would be pretty cool with the with a golden crane and just like the geometrical um, things in blue, silver, and a white. That that would be pretty pretty awesome. I'm just curious how much time it will take until the whole fleet will look um, that good. I hope it will, won't take that long, because then I can go to Dusseldorf and take some pictures for you guys. Basically you can find our spotting photos on our Instagram channel, but you can also go to my Instagram channel, which is basically planespotter underscore jb. Then you will see all my pictures and I hope uh, you will like them, as I always try to do the best for uh, my followers. So, this makes this check checking in on the flight time until arrival is one hour to go. I'm going to put you the whole the whole playlist which we are hearing right here down into the comments so you can just um, hear, hear, hear it because it is an NCS playlist that is just called best of NCS. NCS is basically non-copyright music and NCS is no copyright sounds and it's pretty 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 cool one of my um, favorite places to grab up music for um, for videos. Okay, the auto throttle disengage button works. I just wanted to to check it. It's it's on right <coughs> right now again. Just really wanted to check it out. If it's working, and it's working perfectly fine. Oh, I forgot to turn off the 
anti-ice. Oh, we haven't even turned on the anti-ice here. It was just not here. Yeah, I'm pretty stupid. Okay, but it's fine. And we can't... Whoa, 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 what is, what's going on here? And put off the window heat. Because we are above freezing levels. You know, yeah. The whole video is basically just about this piece of art right here. I really want to thank the creator of this delivery that <coughs> made this video possible by posting this delivery so short even before the official release of delivery. Right now Lufthansa posted already photos of delivery. I think everybody should know that it's official. Okay, back in the cockpit here. I'm going to call the flight attendants to bring me a drink. And then I can grab my bottle of water right here and just have a sip of water. I really would like to do the cabin tour and show you the brand new Lufthansa cockpit uh, cabin but unfortunately there is no model cabin and I've unfortunately there is no new Lufthansa um, new Lufthansa um, yeah cabin I don't know I honestly don't know why they put this little thing right here on the door I think it just destroys the whole level of immersion Either they're going to just do the cabin, or they just do nothing. But I think this is terrible. It's just on it, honestly, it's, it's terrible. But I can de deal with that, so it's not that bad. Right now we are hearing shipwreck pain, and after that we're going to hear a Vexen Vexento masked raver. <coughs> I hope the thing with the music turns out to be good and turns out to work pretty well. Oh, we almost have reached our top of descent. Only around 200 nautical miles are missing, I think. Until Gorma is 117. No, it's 201. Okay, so it might be 250 until top of descent. So everything should be fine. I haven't even told you yet, but I have bought two airplane seats for my room, which are basically original Boeing 767 seats from Condor, <coughs> which is basically the German Thomas Cook. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's it. I have real real um, airplane seats in my room and now I can just sit there and relax and watch some TV which is basic, basically pretty cool I really like it out a bit more yeah perfect so basically we are um, just flying to the Baltic Sea which is almost um, in Poland or Heringsdorf is the pol uh, is an airport which is used both by German people and also by Polish people um, and it's actually pretty pretty small this really small I'll just 
look up if I can find uh, some pictures from you, for you. Oh, basically we, do, we don't need pictures because the scenery is actually pretty accurate in terms of how the airport looks. And it's so cool because I've been there one time just to see the airport because I've been in the area once. And it's so small, it's, it's, it's stunning. And they did such a great job to, to resemble it, it with a free scenery. It's, it's just so cool. I'm just amazed. It's pretty, pretty bright, but we could consider to switch on some lightings here inside the cabin. So let's do it. So, I love the lighting in X-Plane, just so amazing. Now only it's missing. Then the main board is missing. Here. The main panel is missing, not the main board. So now we have a complete illuminated um, flight deck here, whole illuminated cockpit, and it looks amazing. We have quite a lot of fuel remaining right here. Should be enough. And the the time until arrival is now at about uh, 50 minutes, so it's not too bad. I think we're going to be in 20 minutes at <coughs> around our top of descent. Then we do our our descent into into Heringsdorf. The song right here playing, I think it's really cool. I, I really like that song. Maybe I'm going to use it in the outro. I just should forget the name. Just going to copy it real quick. Okay, it's not that bad. I'll find it. Again. So. Let's maybe zoom out a little bit and see how the how the how the livery looks from a bit of distance. I think because of the color scheme they they use right here. Okay, it doesn't resemble real life, of course, but I think it, it has lost a lot of um, of like of uniqueness. When you see like the plane from the ground at your local airport, or basically, I don't live far away from an airport. It's just 30 minutes by car, just a short hop to me, basically by car. And I see every day planes flying over my house because I, I I'm basically living um, there. There is a star which is going over my my house, basically, and. Like when you see this plane from above, you just see the blue tail and it just looks so common, it doesn't look special by no means. Which just makes me a bit sad, because with the old livery you could see sometimes the, 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 the yellow parts of the livery and then you could say, oh yeah, sure, it's Lufthansa, but right now, it looks cool when you see it in person, when you're really, really close to the airplane, but I think it might lose a lot of charm when you don't when you when you're a bit more further away. I don't know if 
this this makes any sense what I'm talking right here. I also really like this kind of view. And maybe a bit more forward. Yeah. Something like this thing. It looks pretty, pretty decent. Pretty good, actually. Just turn off both engines right now. Do an emergency landing. It works. Um, our. Now, because I'm thinking of it, our. I would like to check our. Um, our alternative airport, which is Echo, Sulu, Mike, the Kilo. I really don't know which airport this is, or this could be. Oh, okay, it's in Sweden. It's airport Kirstenstad. Nice, nice. Haven't known know this airport yet, but no, I think I know it. Perfect. But we are not going to visit um, Airport Echo Sulu my Kilo. This flight because we are going to Echo Delta Alpha Hotel to Herringsdorf. Oh yeah, this name is pretty pretty correct. Actually. Herringsdorf. It would just translate into like herring is a kind of fish. I'm uh, just looking for a translation into English. Oh yeah, it's herring. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's easy. Yeah, it's Herring. So, Herringsdorf is Herring Village. So, yeah, it is at the coast, but the name is still stupid. So, I just had to take a short break. We're back here. I'll just pause this in for just a second. Basically for the... I hate it when you just want to... You just want to scroll through your cockpit and zoom in. I think everything here should be set up fine for our LS approach. Basically later on we just have to press the LS um, to the VRR localizer. Should be possible. Oh, the weather looks great, guys. And it doesn't look right anymore. Yeah, it was a bit... Or my hype at least was a bit too early. We have actually minus one degrees outside uh, in Herringsdorf. So it might be a bit cold to land there. How for the people who are going to visit Herringsdorf. Basically there are no um, existing flights right now to Herringsdorf during the winter, it is only, um, or the airport is only operated for airline flights during the summer. In, wi in the winter it's only open for general aviation. I'm really curious if you like the scenery which we are going to see in a couple of minutes if you like it or not. Because I think it's pretty close to the real thing and I would just like to know your opinion on this subject. So, 107 nautical miles to go until our, until our next waypoint.
this is rather a view which you will never get during a real airplane plane flight. Except if you are an, an F or if you are a F-18 pilot and you are on a mission, you might you might see such a view. But in reality, if you are a regular human being, no chance of seeing such a view in your entire lifespan. Which makes me a bit a bit depressed. I would like to see such a view in real life. What else could we do right now? I want to offer you something. <coughs> Should go to battery actually. Forgot it during the the um, during the startup. So let's just go to a descent. Or where is it? Can't find it. The um, I'm too stupid for this FMC. Just a little bit too stupid. So, 83 miles to go to Galma. We are coming closer to our top of descent right here on the Aviation Code YouTube channel. Basically the only thing we can do right now is enjoying some views and this is just the thing which I would like to improve with live, live streams because during live stream we could just talk about random random things which are going on and then we have something to do during the flight you can ask questions I can can answer them so or we can do something like you ask qu uh, questions in the comments down below and I'm going to feature all of your comments. If you would be interested in such a thing, just make sure to comment your questions down below and then we can, can start something up. No problem at all. Another beeping sound right here. I'm always very curious if something is about to happen, but actually everything looks fine. And I maybe you know why my, why the 
uh, Boeing 737 makes this beeping sound because I don't know and I really would like to would like to um, get to know why it's doing the sound sounds always to check right here if we have any problems should be fine actually. What else could we explore inside his cabin? Or inside his cockpit, I don't know. No feed, no storage. S no storage, this surface. Okay. We we will sit down here. Oh, this view is actually pretty cool if you want to. Oh yeah, this is pretty, pretty awesome. Want to show the cockpit? I think. Yes, it's, I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. It is just turning into one of these cinematic explain videos. Yes. Yeah, it's so amazing. <laughs> 50 months to go until our next waypoint, and then another. After that, maybe another 50 miles until our top boss. Maybe let's just have a quick view on the on the on the checklist, which is fe <laughs> featured on the on the yoke. So before the descent, we need to brief ourselves. So, we can just do it right now. We are landing in Herringsdorf, which is Echo Delta... It's Echo Delta Alpha Hotel, I think. Yeah. Um, we are doing the RLS approach for run runway 28 um, with the course of 283 and with a frequency of 111.3 which is our LSDME. So briefing is completed and the eyes we will need once we are going to descend. Pressurization is set for <coughs> for um, yeah for flight altitude and for landing altitude which is 100 or it's basically Airport elevation is basically 93, and I don't know if we can. No, we can only do big steps, I think. Or can you do smaller steps? Let's have to go there. Could you basically also. No. It's, it's can't. It's, it, it's not becoming smaller then. Okay. So that's perfect. So. Back to, <laughs> to the to the checklist. Um, yeah, I think everything is cool here. I want to <laughs> to to go into more detail here. Just enjoying the music in the background and just enjoy the flight. Actually, we don't have much winds here. The the departure of Zurich was pretty stormy and pretty rainy. But right here, pretty beautiful actually. Pretty beautiful weather. And I hope that this in Herringsdorf as well, we have some sunny conditions there to land. It would be pretty cool.
Okay, only 20 miles remaining until Golma, and then I think it's about 80 to 100 nautical miles until arrival. So, until now, a perfectly fine flight without any kind of failures, any kind of pre problems. So, I don't know, I don't know why, I just prefer the Zebra mod over the, over the Jardy Zion A320. The Jardy Zion A320 might be a great plane and I really like it once, it once it really works, but then it makes problems and Basically, you don't need the prob problems when your plane isn't following the flight plan anymore. It is just pretty annoying. And I think I, I, I need to find a solution for that. Ten nautical miles to go. You know that I always like to um, to descend a bit earlier, like not that early, but like twenty nautical miles before our scheduled top of descent, because it always gives me the feeling of being prepared. And I think I think you know what I mean. 100 miles, un 170 miles until Budap, and yeah, Eudaxi is basically the first, first waypoint of our star. Yeah, and once we reach our star, it's going to be a rave wave just to fly into the airport. So at Budap, we need to be at least at flight level 256. We're going to descend further down to flight level 112. So once we reach our top of descent, we are going to descend down to about 11,000 feet. Then we are going to proceed further down until... Um, yeah, I think to 3,000 feet, feet or to 2,800 so we can catch the glide slope perfectly. Something like this should be should be a pretty, pretty easy approach. It's just sea level, so I don't see any problems there. Not long to go guys, not long to go. Couple more minutes here until our top of um, descent. Yeah, we're going to do basically now everything on full brightness. Now we have a pretty bright cockpit, I would say. I really would like to get some news on the development of the Aerobridge 777, which is going to be a freeware 777 for X-Plane 11, by Aerobridge of course, and they are also going to do the 757. And I am actually not sure which is going to come, up, come out first. Though, <coughs> because there are rumors that because they started with the um, with the with the triple seven, but there are rumors now that they are more focusing on the seven five seven, which would be in no instant good. Because then we will, I think, I think when they just now change the focus, the the triple um, seven will never reach a real good step standard of completion, if you know what I mean. And 
I think it wouldn't be good because the triple seven, or at least the cockpit or the pictures we saw, they've been really advanced and it looked on pictures it looked beautiful. So I hope we'll see something um, big in the new in the near future. Furthermore, um, there were, was now a video for the Ultimate 737, which is also a new um, a new Boeing 737, and it looks so good. It looks stunning. But I don't know if we really need another 737. We have a bunch of payware 737s, and we have the um, Zebra mod, but maybe if yeah, it features a cabin, so. That's a big plus point, but no, but only because yeah, it's it's freeware, so I'm going to grab it up. So of course, but I would I would prefer to get something new, and I always uh, like to try out new um, airplanes. It's always it, it is really always nice to um, change up your game and try try different things out. I also try the LED, which is basically a an airplane from Czechia. It's pretty pretty cool, but it's it is not that advanced in um, in terms of technology. Like it's not modern, and so I don't know if we're going to fly it a lot or if we're going to fly it at least one time. I just need to get some training in before I can fly it. Um, for the next video, I am considering to switch off the um, smart cars because we always get a bit of annoying uh, callouts because of the smart cars, and I don't like it too much. So maybe in the near future it won't be featured anymore on this uh, YouTube channel. It's, it's it's pretty handy when you are flying in um, cloudy conditions, but in general you don't need it too much. So I don't know about it, but it's uh, it's now in consider consideration. So just wanted to let you guys know. So, it's not far until our top descent, only around 37 or 26 miles left, so we can just now start to prepare for our descent, so we are going to descend to, I think I, I, I told you guys to 11 12 feet, should be perfectly fine. Level 12 feet, just a bit more scrolling down. It's too much. 11 12 feet. Yeah, it's about 30 miles until top of the tent. We're going to start our 
This end right now was a rate of 1200. And once we are at about 40... Uh, no. Yeah, at around 40 miles away from Goodop we're going to increase our rate of descent. Maybe, because sometimes I have the problem that once you start your descent, the top of descent point is just disappearing. Maybe it's, it's going to stay here, so I know exactly when I need to turn up the, um, the rate of descent, or the vertical speed. Yeah, you saw it, it just disappeared. But that's completely fine. So I know that in around 9... No in at around nine, nine nautical miles. Oh yeah, so so hard to pronounce. <laughs> at around nine nautical miles, we're going to increase the rate of descent. We can switch on anti ice. Uh, no, not not the wing anti ice, just the real anti ice and the window heat. Okay, four miles to go, then we're going to descend a bit more. Or descend a bit faster, actually. Where are we actually um, in terms of geography? Uh, at <coughs> Echo Delta Delta Tango, which is basically Berlin. I think. Yeah, it should be Berlin. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Berlin. Yeah, it's Berlin Tegel. Yeah, I was right. Uh, I just thought for a moment it might be something different, but yeah. So, 14 nautical months to go. We're going to descend now with a rate of 2500. Speed up just a little bit right now. During our descent. Okay, 33 miles until our next waypoint. Going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, it's just pretty straightforward. We're just flying into the airport or into, into the glide slope. So, pretty, pretty easy. So, I am using um, uh, all MET set for my meters. And we have pressure of 1005 here in um, Heringsdorf at the airport at Echo Delta of uh, Hotel. Well, everything should be fine, guys.
just going to check the final time the um, the approach here, but nevertheless everything. Yeah, runway 28. Oh, this should be everything. Should be fine. Yeah. Can just speed up a bit right here. Low, but it's not it's not that important it's, it's not a dangerous anything like this approach but we can recruit our right off the sand right here I'm pretty pretty tired guys <sighs> it's, I hate to be tired even during the weekend it's terrible So, eight, or yeah, nearly eight nautical miles missing until our next waypoint. Then we are going to, how it's called, Umex? Uda, Uda, see, yeah. Umex would sound better, in my opinion. Was, I, I don't know how I just, I, 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 I'm crazy. Now descending through flight level two zero or to flight level two hundred. Yeah. Just going to enjoy some final views of the outside of the cockpit before we will start our final our, our approach. Right now we are still descending, so we have some time left. Yeah, 43 miles to go until Udaxi. We need to be at life flight level 112 at Udaxi and we'll reach it a bit quicker. 40 miles to go. Yeah. 18,000 feet checked. I really would like to fly with somebody with a, in a sh shared cockpit. It would be a lot of fun too. I have so many, so many uh, plans for future videos. Just crazy. But right now, we're just doing um, yeah, the things which we are doing right now. I've never heard the wind shear warning in this game before. I think there are no windshields in this game, or I don't know how, how when to fly to to experience one. 
I really would like to, to do some wind shear, like trading or flying into wind shears, just to experience it, how, how it is. But I have never had the chance before. It's so sad, I, I really want to do it. So we almost reached 11,000 feet. So we have a time until arrival of around 30 minutes right up. My acres just told me that we are sending a bit. What? What, what is this? I don't know. Uh, my acres just told me that we are descending a bit early, but I don't think that we are descending early. I think it's just a bit confused. Yeah, we are definitely a bit too low right now, but that's fine. That's that's completely fine. So we've almost uh, reached 11,000 feet. So we can diesel a little bit right now. To around 300, should be fine. I'm really excited for the um, for the approach because uh, it looks like we are flying over the airport right here and just then doing the turn back to the runway. And it's something which never works in the Jar Design A320, so I am excited if it will work here in the Zebra Mod 737. <laughs> but right now we don't have to fear because we just need to do some checkpoints, for, uh, to waypoints first. Okay, we can descend further down in about... Uh, we, can, we, we could basically descend now until the 3000. We need to descend a bit slow, slower, but that's fine. We def definitely have to desell at this point to 250 knots. So, everything looks fine so far. I'm excited. I'm excited about the weather down, uh, weather down um, in Herringsdorf because either it is pretty great or it's pretty terrible. Um, and because of the clouds, I I assume that's going to be terrible. But we 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 will see.
okay, I just checked the weather online, uh, the weather online, and it just told me that we can expect <coughs> some, some maybe some snow coming down, but I'm not sure if that's 100% correct. Because last time I trusted, um, all all met that in terms of weather, and they just disappointed me with. No, I don't want flaps. Don't want flaps. Want landing lights. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Fine. Runway should be here, and now we should. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like we'll do something like this. Are we 15 miles until Hotel Charlie? We need to be at Hotel Charlie at about 6,000 feet. I think we should be fine. Should. Should apply some speed brakes. Actually, we are a bit over speeding right now. Better now. Okay, at 5,000 feet we can tune in our barrow, which is 1,005 still, I believe. And just update it real quick. It is still 1,005. Uh, just in a few seconds we'll climb through some heavy clouds. Now we are in the clouds, or not yet. Yeah, should be tight right now. Okay, now we are descending a bit too fast again. It's actually, it's, it's actually pretty okay can defile now to 200 yeah they, they say that we should fly still with 250 but I honestly think that's a bit um, too fast actually something is pressing all the time yeah better okay we can descend to 230 right here We are now just above the airport and inside some clouds. Yeah, it looks like. Okay, this is. Well, what is it? Yeah, what is going on here? Hey now, uh. Altimeter yeah, seven. I know. Just wanted to do it right here. 2005. Just please. Just shut up. Thank you. Perfect! Everything is set up here.
basically we are flying now to um, to, to to Charlie India 28 now we're turning around to Foxtrot India 28 now we're going to do our uh, d departure uh, approach pretty nice actually Okay, 200 knots right here, flaps down to position 1. And position 2. Just to increase some drag here. We are at 3,000 feet right here, and uh, the clouds are still pretty, pretty, pretty heavy. Very low visibility. Speed down to 180 nice flaps position. Set. Your localizer is on right now. Flaps down to next position. Landing gear is coming down now. We're going to descend a bit further down. Perfect. That's fine. Next flap position is set. Flap 20 points. We still haven't catched the glide slope right now. Which is not good by any means. And we have very low visibility. Yeah, now we have visibility that's better, but still though, glide slope, flat full. Yeah, 140 knots. Oh shit, I can't see anything out there. Well, that's not good at all. We are over the sea, I uh, I believe. Oh god damn it! <laughs> this is crazy. It's, it's basically the. We 
we are way too too high. Yeah, I can't see the runway. Approach. Runway is in fight. That's that's basically a zero visibility approach here. We're doing it without outer land. It's just visual without. Too high. Too we are high. not too high. We definitely not too high. We would crash into this fucking trees here. Unstable. I Unstable. I am stable. So auto throttle is us. Yeah, we are definitely too high. But it's it's fine. We're going to bring this bird down. No problem. Oh shit! We, we, we floated it. Long landing. Long landing. Five thousand. Yeah, it was a hard landing. Oh yeah, and a big bounce. Four thousand remaining. So auto is out. Uh, auto trials. Uh, speed. A reverse, of course. I did not check it. Reverse are. Oh, was was crazy experience. Never thought that this approach is going to be that hard. Actually, I have not expected this. Sh shoot, crazy. It was honestly, it was one of the harder landings of my of my career. <laughs> so landing lights are off. Oh no, we we are coming to the wait. What is my plane doing? Please stop. Thank you. Now please taxi out of the ground grass. Be pretty nice, thank you. Hope you coming on. Oh um, yeah, of course we did. Happy you gents. And happy you did. So we have arrived at Airport Herringsdorf. Yes. And now in all honesty it's really dead small. I I I like it. I'm just going to do the turn here. And then we call it a flight. Absolute crazy landing. Um, no visibility at all, so excuse me for that hard landing. Um, was definitely definitely not my plan to land this airplane that hard, so excuse me for that. Um, hope next landing and the next landing we will have a bit better weather. Uh, Weather should be should be perfect actually. I'm just going to turn off the airplane right now. So, oh yeah, we definitely need to ch turn off the entrance. So, thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, okay, we, we, we parked the wrong way. But I hope you have enjoyed the video. The hard landing, the... Yeah, when you see it like this, it is snow. I hope you enjoyed the video, the hard landing, and a bit of the scenery. You can't see too much right now. But I think it's pretty cool because it's one of the smallest airports in Germany. If I'm not wrong, you can Google it, it looks like exactly like the real thing. Really cool. And over there, there is a bar in the real life. But I hope you have enjoyed the video. And I would be pleased if you're going to join us on our next trip. But, like, 
don't take this landing too serious. The wind was, or not the wind, actually, yeah, we, 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 we should have gone around, but that's not the point. Just wanted to have, to, to have some quick fun, but if you enjoyed the video, just make sure to hit the like button, and if you don't want to miss out on any new further videos, just make sure that you will click the subscribe button, and then we will see us in the next video again. Thank you, bye now, and I wish you a terrible day.